So it doesn't matter if you have the 2 sine of x. Um, it doesn't matter if you're working on the problem like over here or over here. Whenever there's a number in front, you don't change anything. We're not changing anything. Does that make sense, Keith? Keep that the same. You're still going to find all the solutions. Go to your unit circle. When is the sine equal to plus or minus square root of 2 over 2? So you could say x equals pi over, oh, I'm sorry, 3x equals pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. Right? Yes? OK. But now, because you're not solving for x, you're solving for 3x. Now we basically divide them by 3. You divide all of these by 3. x equals now pi over 12, 3 pi over 12, 5 pi over 12, 7 pi over 12. Now, let's think about this, guys. As far as on the unit circle, like halfway around a circle, if you're going in 12s, would be 12 pi over 12. Would you guys agree with me? Did we even go halfway around a circle with those solutions? No, right? And we can go all the way to 24 pi over 12. Because I forgot to tell you, the solution is from 0 to 2 pi again. So if you guys look at the difference here, you keep on adding 2, I can keep on going up all the way until I get to 24. So I can go to 9 pi over 12, 11 pi over 12, 13 pi over 12, 15 pi over 12, 17 pi over 12, 19 pi over 12, 21 pi over 12, 23 pi over 12, but then I stop. Because if I go to 25, it's not between 0 and 2 pi. OK? Yes, kind of. So for each of these problems, I'm going to do a half angle.